ROASTED CREAM OF TOMATO SOUP SOUNDS SO DELICIOUS, ESPECIALLY ON A COLD WINTER DAY. PLUS, IT'S LOW IN CALORIES AND HIGH IN FLAVOR. COOKING INSTRUCTOR HEIDI LANG IS BACK TO SHARE A RECIPE THAT IS NOT ONLY DELICIOUS, BUT IT'S HEALTHY, TOO, AS WE MENTIONED. HI, HEIDI. HOW ARE YOU? HAPPY NEW HAPPY YEAR. HAPPY NEW YEAR TO YOU, TOO. SO THIS IS, um... Comfort food that's healthy for us. Yes. What, a be what could be better than a combination of something that tastes delicious because uh -huh. there's lots of garlic and onions in here and tomatoes, but low in fat. In this whole thing, there's only two tablespoons of butter and a little oil. And we're going to thicken, this is the trick, we're going to thicken this soup with potatoes. Oh, okay. It's a really modern way instead of using those fancy roux. They take a that, while to... Well, they have a stick of butter and lots of flour, and they also do a beautiful job in thickening soups. But this is a great way. So what we've done here is we've taken a large onion mm -hmm. and coarsely chopped it. Don't go crazy in trying to make it beautiful because no one's going to see it. It's going to be totally pureed and no one's going to see it. Okay. And then we've added one large russet potato sliced very thin. Okay. Uh, and uh, we put this on 10 minutes for the onions and then about 5 10 minutes for the potatoes. You a little salt and pepper in and there? And we put some salt and pepper right here. Okay. And because potatoes are, are thirsty for salt. And okay. if you don't put enough salt in, it will be really bland. So let me show you what we did um, the tomatoes. You see this over here? There's a very big bowl. There's uh, three pounds of, of tomatoes. Are these a certain type of tomato? These are plum tomatoes, okay. really firm tomatoes. And once they are roasted, they are reduced to this. So we roasted three pounds of potato, uh, tomatoes and three, uh, one pound of carrots, and this is what they're reduced to. I'm going to show you uh, what we do with uh, these tomatoes. When, we, when we're roasting them, we want to take out, we slice it, and we want to take out the guts. If you okay. leave the guts in, it's going to be very mushy. We don't want that. Right. And we put them uh, with some garlic, uh, lots of garlic. It depends on how much you like. We use nine cloves of garlic. That's okay. a lot of garlic. <laughs> and olive oil, salt, pepper. Same thing with the carrots. They're roasted for an hour. And I think those are soft now. What do you think, Teresa? Yeah, those look pretty probably. Soft they me. look good. They so look we're going to do is we're going to take these tomatoes and we're going to just dump them in here. Should I mix this up? Mix it up. Master mixer. There we go. <laughs> I can handle that. And, um, and once that's mixed and we stir that for... Uh, a minute or two or three, depending on how much time you have. Okay. We're going to add the broth. Now how do we and make this broth? This broth is, um, I actually, for this kind of thing, I wouldn't waste the time of making broth. Okay. If you want to, you can certainly make your own broth. Um, so we're going to just pour in the broth. Now, beef broth, chicken broth? Chicken broth. Chicken broth. If okay. you are vegetarian, feel free to use uh, vegetable, vegetable broth. Okay. Yes. And then we're going to add some little cayenne pepper. Oh, a quarter give it a teaspoon. Kick, huh? Yes. Now that's going to be up to you. If you don't like cayenne pepper, don't feel like you have to add it. Okay. Um, and then we're going to add some ginger and some fine rosemary. If you want to use a, a fresh rosemary, is about two teaspoons. Okay. Um, but if you can't find it in the store, and right now the rosemary is not great, it might be better actually to use dried rosemary. This is a really fine uh, dried rosemary, so we're going to throw some of that in here, okay. and we're going to just let that sit and uh, oh, boil, come to, to a boil. Here. Flake. What's yes. the word? Fragrant? <laughs> Fragrant, yes. And then what we're going to do in the end, I'll show you the finished product. Okay, very good. Here it is. It's a really thick soup. So it's actually almost like um, a meal in and of itself. It, or, of course, it would be perfect with grilled cheese. And I Ooh. actually have a great grilled cheese. I think next time I come on, it would be nice to make that grilled cheese yeah. as a nice accompaniment to this I like that. Uh, I always do soup. a little bit of dipping when there's tomato soup involved. Yeah, this one is a knockout uh, grilled cheese. Uh, so what we're going to do is, this is how, so when your soup was done, mm -hmm. And this is done right away. I'm going to show you. We take this immersion blender. Anyone who's taken a class with Heidi knows that this is one of my favorite little <laughs> toys. Okay. Uh, and you see, it makes this whirring sound. You put it in here and you go up and down until the soup is pureed. Once it's pureed, you can do something fun, like in this dreary time of year, we might want to put a little snowman on it. How did you do that? It. Is there a pastry bag involved? Oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> so here is, is a secret. Okay. Go to any store, uh, any kind of restaurant supply store, sure. and get one of these. These are invaluable. Uh, you take two or three teaspoons of sour cream mm -hmm. and a teaspoon or two of milk okay. or water. Shake it up, and then you'll see on here all you, it, how nice it comes out. You just make these little circles. Oh, there you go. And it's really easy. Now, of course, right now we're doing snowmen, but we could have done last month Christmas trees or <laughs> stars or anything we want. Um, and it's a great way to decorate. That's pretty if cool. You, if you don't want to add more calories, and in the end, we're also going to add some heavy cream to this soup. Okay. But if you don't want to add extra calories, um, you don't have to. It's still a great soup. And you, want, you may want to decorate that with some uh, basil 
or uh, some fresh uh, rosemary. I love that. How are your cooking classes going? Oh, they're going great. I mean, this is a very typical thing of what we do at FIG. We are always interested in teaching people how to make great food that isn't going to take them hours and hours because no one has time. That's true. Nobody wants to do that. And uh, we also want to make sure that people have food that has a lot of flavor. I love that. So, All right, Heidi, we're going to taste this at the end of the show. Thank you so much for the recipe. It was a pleasure. All right. See you soon. Up next, when Connecticut Style returns, we'll meet actress Ileana Douglas and hear about her hit web comedy, Easy to Assemble. But first, take a look at this.